Today let's talk about functions. You may have a brilliant idea for a business, but to know how to plan, monitor and improve the finance of your business is a key success factor. And in order to do that, you need to know the concept of a function. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you have 50 euros to spend in marketing to promote a product at your store and that investment results in 100 euros in sales. Well, from the amount that you have invested, you have doubled that amount and received that in sales. So we can write this as a mathematical expression saying uh, S equals 2 times M. And we can also plot this expression in a graph. So along the horizontal axis we will measure the amount we spend in marketing and along the vertical axis we will measure the amount we receive in sales. Like in the example before, if I spend 50 euros in marketing, I get 100 euros in sales. And for this example, let's assume that if we do not spend anything in marketing, then we do not receive any euro in sales. Therefore, connecting the two dots, we get this linear function. But now assume that regardless of the amount that you spend in marketing, everybody will buy an extra 20 euros so you will get an extra 20 euros in sales. Therefore, in the mathematical expression we have seen before, now we have to add this plus 20. What is the implication to our graph? Well, before the point 00, zero will now be 0, 020. So all the entire relationship will move upwards and therefore now if we spend 50 euros in marketing, we will receive instead 120 euros in sales. Well, this was a quite simple example, but that is not what you usually see in everyday life. Usually, you will have two points, for example, these 50 euros uh, in marketing that correspond to 100 euros in sales, and imagine that one week after, you decide to spend 75 euros in marketing and you receive 120 euros in sales. What is the function, what is the relationship between these two dots? Well, you can try to draw uh, a line between them, but you don't know what is the slope of that line and what is the final point here in the vertical axis that uh, will match when you spend zero euros in marketing. So let's calculate what we call the slope of the curve and the intercept, the point in which you spend zero euros in marketing. So for the slope, let me take out the slide. For the slope, we know that it's the ratio between the change in sales over the additional amount that you spend in marketing. So like in the last example, we have a difference of 120 to 100 in sales and the difference in marketing was 75 minus 50 euros that we have spent in marketing. This is equal to 4 over 5, so this is the slope of our curve. And now, in order to know the intercept, what we know is that 100 euros in sales correspond to some intercept A that we still don't know, plus the slope times the amount we spend in marketing, M. So 100 equals A plus 40, so A equals 60. So if we spend zero euros in marketing, we still get 60 euros in sales. Therefore, the mathematical expression of this last example is sales equals 60 plus 4 over 5 times the amount you spend in marketing. 
That is an, a simple example of a function that you can use in your business life.